want to talk to you guys today about the subject of choke-offs or lift-offs in protection training. A lot of people see us doing this in bite work with young dogs and wrongly make the assumption that we're doing it because we want the dogs to let go. We're actually doing it because we want the dogs to bite better. Yes, you heard me correctly. Choke-offs or lift-offs can improve the dog's grip quality and commitment in the protection training. When you lift or choke a dog off of something that they really want, it builds their level of frustration and increases their level of possession. And that's something that's extremely valuable when you're training protection. A lot of people make the mistake of teaching a dog to let go too early in protection. They make too much control before the dog is showing the correct level of commitment, drive, intensity, and possession in the bite work. You see the grip quality of the dog suffer when this happens. Good protection training teaches the dog to 100% tune out all the external distractions that exist, whether the distractions are from the decoy or from the handler or from, from the environment, and fully commit to the act of fighting the man. The emotions that we want in a dog that's doing protection is dominance. Again, teaching a dog to let go is not a complicated thing. It's quite simple, and it's really you know one of the last things that I worry about when I'm, when I'm training a protection dog. So if you're training a dog for real life, there could be very serious consequences for both the handler and the dog if the dog lets go before he or she is supposed to. Protection training is very complex. It's not as simple as just putting on a suit or a sleeve and giving a dog bites. Maybe I'll do another uh, video on outs later on and how to do them or maybe a little bit about when to do them. Anyways, for now, thanks for watching.